Hello there, my name is Agathis and I'm online. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. We have a bunch of stuff to do, but the first thing we are going to do is take this book to Firebeard. Since he asked for it. It's hard to find decent folk nowadays. Ah, you are generous to an old man, so I'll be great generous in turn. Let me give you another book in exchange. It is a touch darker than what you've given me. But I get a sense that you may enjoy it nonetheless. Hmm. An odd choice of a reward, as well as an odd choice of words. Both set me ill at ease, to be truthful. Much of history is unsettling, but I hope you'll enjoy the book nonetheless. So, 300 uh, experience, plus one reputation. And we got History of the Dead 3 and a scroll case. Well, that's nice of him. We didn't need another one, but sure. Uh, that's fine, we'll take that. Uh, what I might do is, if I take this scroll case, I'm gonna take out, um, Take out all the letters. Because I think these do fill up eventually. All these letters. Um, just give that to Imwin temporarily. This one. All the letters are put in a different case. There we go. That keeps them nice and neat. And Altheus can carry his own scroll case. Imwin can carry, sorry, uh, Jahira can carry all, yeah, Nira. Nira can carry all the, the spell ones. Yeah, I think that works out quite nicely. Um, now, History of the Dead 3. Knucklebones, Skull Bowling, Bowling and the Empty Throne. Um... So this is worth reading. I'm not sure I'm going to spend time reading all of it. Yeah, why not? Why not? So, in ages past, there was but one god of strife, death, and the dead. And he was known as Jurgol, lord of the end of everything. Jurgle fermented and fed on the discord among mortals and powers alike. When beings slew each other in their quest for power or in their hatred, he welcomed them into his shadowy kingdom of eternal gloom. As all things died, everything came to him eventually, and over time he built his power into a kingdom unchallenged by any other god. Eventually, however, he grew tired of his duties, for he knew them too well. Without challenge, there is nothing, and in nothingness there is only gloom. In such a state, the difference between absolute power and absolute powerlessness is undetectable. During this dark era, there arose three powerful mortals, Bane, Baal, and Merkul, who lusted after the power Jurgal wielded. The trio forged an unholy pact, agreeing that they would dare to seek such ultimate power or die in the attempt. Over the length and breadth of the realm they strode, seeking powerful magic and spells and defying death at every turn. No matter what monster they confronted or what spells they braved, the three mortals emerged unscathed at every turn. Eventually, the trio destroyed one of the seven lost gods, and they each seized a portion of his divine essence for themselves. The trio then journeyed into the Grey Waste and sought out the Castle of Bone. Through armies of skeletons, legions of zombies, Hordes of non-corporal undead, and a gauntlet of liches they battled. Eventually, they reached the object of their lifelong quest, the Bone Throne. 
I claim this throne of evil, shouted Bane the tyrant. I'll destroy you before you can raise a finger, threatened Baal the assassin. I shall imprison your essence for eternity, promised Mercul the necromancer. Jogal arose from his throne with a weary expression and said, The throne is yours. I have grown weary of this empty power. Take it if you wish. I promise to serve and guide you as your sentinel until you grow comfortable with the position. Before the stunned trio could react, the Lord of the Dead continued, Who among you shall rule? The trio immediately fell to fighting amongst themselves, while Jurgal looked on with indifference. When eventually it appeared that either they would all die of exhaustion or battle on for an eternity, the Lord of the End of Everything intervened. After all you have sacrificed, would you come away with nothing? Why don't you divide the portfolios of the office and engage in a game of skill for them? asked Jurgal. Bane, Baal and Merkul considered the gods' offer and agreed. Jogal took the heads of his three most powerful liches and gave them to the trio that they would compete by bowling the skulls. Each mortal rolled a skull across the grey waste, having agreed that the winner would be he who bowled the farthest. Malar the Beast Lord arrived to visit Jogal at this moment. After quickly ascertaining that the winner of the contest would get all of Jurgal's power, he chased off after the Three Skulls to make sure the contrast w contest would be halted until he had a chance to participate for part of the prize. Bane, Baal and Merkul again fell to fighting as it was obvious their sport was ruined and again Jurgal intervened. Why don't you allow Lady Luck to decide so you don't have to share with the beast? The trio agreed, and Jurgal broke off his skeleton finger bones and gave them to the players. When Malar returned from chasing the skulls, he found that the trio had just finished a game of knuckle bones. Bane cried out triumphantly, As winner, I choose to rule for all eternity, as the ultimate tyrant. I can induce hatred and strife at my win, whim, and we all will bow down to me while in my kingdom. McCull, who had won second place, declared, But I choose the dead, and by doing so I truly win, because all you are lord over Bane will eventually be mine. All things must die, even gods. Baal, who finished third, demurred. I choose death. And it is by my hand that all that you rule, Lord Bane, will eventually pass to Lord Mercul. Both of you must pay honour to me and obey my wishes, since I can destroy your kingdom, Bane, by murdering your subjects, and I can starve your kingdom, Mercul, by staying my hand. Malar growled in frustration, but could do nothing. And yet again, only the beasts were left for him. And Jigal merely smiled, for he had been delivered. So there lies the origins of Baal. And if you know that uh, the expansion to Baldur's Gate 2 is Throne of Baal, well, there is just a little bit of um, foreshadowing for you, shall we say. Again. Right, and with that, what? That was a noble deed. What does that do? No melee mode activated? Good on you if you save the day. Uh -huh. Okay. With caution. Let's move on. So we have a bunch of stuff um, to With do. Well. Further south, I think. Um, We've got a bunch of stuff on the world map that we haven't finished yet. We've got these two places. We've got this. We also need to get to Adoy's Enclave for Nera. What is the so, plan? it's a whole carefully. bunch of stuff to work on. 
Let's start with this map. Uh, which, as you can see, is pretty empty because we were on our way to get to Nashkel. So let's mop this map up in this episode. That should be a good little task to do. And hopefully some experience as well. It's pretty quiet, it's daytime, there's birds singing, the trees are quiet. Hopefully this will be a relatively easy area to explore. Yep, nothing here. Good, good. Perhaps we could have done this earlier, but we were in a hurry and I think we got injured, as I recall. I think this is where we... This is Maybe this was where Khalid died. I don't remember. Might have been the next one. Nashkel to the south. Yeah. And Baragos to the north. Even and Altheus in the lead. Okay, what do we got here? We've got some swampy ground. A submerged house. Nothing interesting, really. All quiet. Uh, everyone, you can cast your dexterity thing while we're here. With caution. I don't know if anything happens if we use it a lot, but whatever. Whoa, gibblings. Here we go. So, come on. Him win. Guys, why aren't you attacking? Script? Yeah. Stratagems, ease of use, AI, done. Why are you not attacking? You're not attacking either. Does it happen to your script? No? Oh yeah, attack enemies, yes. We want people to actually attack enemies. Let's just double check this is all working. Yes, attack enemies. Um, yes. Heathen. Attack enemies. Yes. Attack enemies. Yes. Attack enemies, yes. Why did this happen? Not sure. Yes. Okay. We got a bit of gold. Girl! Ghast! Ghast! Shoot the ghast! It's not dead. Back off. Oh, phew. We got a bit of gem. Squirrel! How many XP for a squirrel? Oh. One! Right. If the squirrel kills us later, well, it's okay. I'll live with that. Hobgoblins. Okay, fall back a little bit. Don't want to have a big gang of them. One down. We've only got swords, no bows, which is good. 
Excellent. Oh, look! Magic boots! Whoa! More hobgoblins. Great. What is the plan? Coins. Coins. Uh, Nero, you take the magic boots. The rest we can leave. Yes? Yes. Magic boots we'll definitely pick up later. Uh, we'll definitely identify later. Siblings. Back up. See your staff near up. Smack him. There we go. Again, 35 experience for Gibblings. It's not bad. Lots of squirrels. I wonder if there's some sort of squirrel conspiracy here. Uh, we'll take the spare arrows, why not? 35 for a hobgoblin versus 35 for a squirrel, for a gibbling and a cave! I missed that. Alright, check for traps. Seems okay. Gold and some healing potions. Excellent. Yes. Works for me. Think carefully. Oh, encumbered. Okay. Um, give the healing potions to Jahira. What is the with caution? Imwin is not very strong, to be honest. Yeah, mate. Bub snicked. Low and quiet. Can you smell it? Ogres on the breeze. Two, maybe more. Um, seems to know the area pretty well. Do you have any clues about the iron crisis? I ain't gotta care for the politics and crap going on. All that flaming garbage. And toss it to the crows. Take all the metal away too, for all I care. Don't need to hunt. Don't need to kill. Don't need to smell the ogres neither. Take my advice there, uh, Mac. Keep your weapons ready. Alright. So, ogres nearby. Thanks for the tip. We will prepare for that. Uh, Bjornin was hunting half ogres, not actual ogres. So, maybe that's not what he was looking for. I'm pretty sure those boots belong to somebody. The guy in the flaming wizard inn, I think. Little halfling gnomey type guy. Oop. Hobgoblin elite with a bow. Okay, that did some damage to Jahira. Be careful. Take the gold, take these spare arrows. Okay, hop going, let's just pull back a bit, pull back a bit. You know what, Nero? Uh -huh. Might as well let fly with that sleep spell. My turn to save the day. Just to yes. make just to be, just to be safe, Think you know? Carefully. Nero hasn't died for about three whole episodes, and it'd be really cool if we could keep this trend going for a while. My blade will cut you down to size. Okay, get the gold, get the potion. Okay, I thought there were more than that, but okay. Eat flaming, my blade. There's one. Um, is this the end of the map? It is actually. Uh, I'll just go and get this bit for the sake of it. Yeah, just for neatness sake really.
because I do have that little bit of OCD right there. Okay, good. Down. Down south. The armor's really not worth much, to be honest. Oh, here we go, here we go. They don't have bows though, that's okay, they've just got swords. For the fallen! You've attacked? No, go, go melee, it's okay. We should be okay. What is the plan? That's it, nice one. Gold, gold, scroll. Gold! Yes. All good stuff. And that's the boss of the map. That was okay. Still don't remember seeing any ogres, honestly. Maybe he meant the ogres that were... Is this where the, the ogres were on the road where the... The dead guy was right here. Yeah, there's his body, look. You can see the dead body there. That's where he picked up a message that we delivered. Um, so I guess that's done. Uh, what happens if we go east from here? Because we d we're supposed to go and help Nira out. So what happens if we go east? Old Caster School, okay. That's a good one to have. Yes. Uh, let's see what happens if we go west from here. Uh, sorry this is taking a bit of time, I'm just sort of unlocking these bits and pieces as we go. Oops, stop. Hello. Fall. You're already dead. More for experience. Ring, ring, gold. Yeah. All adds up. It's like three pixels, it's nothing. <laughs> tiny, tiny squirrel. Uh, yeah, just more wilderness, I guess. These bits of wilderness don't even have names, you see. Um, yeah, let's go south. Because this still needs finishing off. Think carefully. We can clear this out. This can't be too bad. Uh, what happens if we go east from here? Oh, another one. Another wilderness. Okay. Caution. There's plenty of them. I can't believe we didn't finish this map, and I don't remember why we didn't. Hmm. Odd of us not to, not to finish it. Anyway. Uh, okay, we've got all of this. I'm quite pleased about how this episode is. Whoa! You <laughs> rang? Sleep, sleep. Stand Run. And watch this. 
Okay, she didn't take yes, any damage, thank goodness. Carefully. Bandits! They're only Sailing basic bandits, thank goodness, but still. For the fallen! Glad there's no elite bandits with them. Gold. Gem. Uh, bandit scalps. Gem. Gold, bandit scalps, necklace. Alright. That was profitable. That scroll goes to Nera. The bottle goes over there. Stock upon that. Excellent. Again. Let's stock upon some arrows actually while we're here. Uh, I'll just give those to Keevan. And a few to Imwin. There you go. Ah, yes. We're already out of sleep spells, so we might want to sleep ourselves soon, just to reset our spells. Mostly nearest spells. This is why I'm thinking maybe it's a really good idea to go and get Zan for a while. Uh, we could possibly use the spell power. I think we'll do that in the next episode, perhaps. Getting dark as well. Any caves or anything suspiciously useful around here? Probably not. Shame. I like finding caves and things. Right, so we'll get this little bit. Yeah, we just got this quarter bit to do. And I think we'll call this an episode. Yeah, I'm quite happy with this episode. Um, we haven't had any major plot developments, but... Portal Bendar Winden. We've actually gained some experience and got a few things done, which I like. Yard, you hooligans! Kinda hard to be a hermit when people keep pestering for hints about the nature of existence. Read a book, people! Portal Bender Winden does so command! Your yard? Um. Please, I was hoping to speak to you. Has your isolation given you any insights I may benefit from? Insights! Oh, never take raisins from rabbits! Never spit in a man's face unless his moustache is on fire! And don't take any wooden knickers unless you have a good supply of salve! Ha! Huh. Okay. I see. Well, thanks. I'm gonna go now. Quickly. Um... Okay. Look, I've just about had my fill. Of riddle asking, quest assigning, insult throwing, pun hurling, hostage taking, iron mongering, smart assed fools, freaks, and felons that continually test my will, metal, strength, intelligence, and most of all, patience. If you've got a straight answer anywhere in that bent little head of yours, I want to hear it pretty darn quick, or I'm going to take a large blunt object, roughly the size of Elminster and his hat, and stuff it lengthwise into a crescent of your being. So seldom seen that even the denizens of the Nine Helms themselves wouldn't touch it with a 20-foot rusty halberd. Have I made myself perfectly clear? Well, someone certainly woke up on the wrong side of the realm this morning. So be it. I shall say my piece and nothing more. You have an exceptionally unstable aura because you are literally at odds with yourself. I have not seen your luck before. But I get the feeling that it's because your type does not survive exceptionally long. Your battles to come are both physical and otherworldly, but I cannot discern the outcome. Your coin is on its edge. If that means nothing to you, then I cannot help. Leave me now. And off he goes. 
Well, our coin is on edge, ladies and gentlemen. And there's a ghoul in the trees. And he's got a friend! The ghoul's got a friend! Please. Oh, it's so nice. They were hanging out together. Maybe they were playing hide and seek. I guess I kind of interrupted that. Oh, wow, Jahira. Struck by lightning just for no reason. And she's a druid as well. She's supposed to be a friend of nature. Um, that's it then. I don't think we can... Um, get that bit, can we? It's a weird little triangle. Bit. Oh, no. There's a hobgoblin. Oh, wow. She got poisoned. Did you hear her? Get on the poison spell. Good job. Yes. Is that a poison arrow? How'd you get poisoned then? Again with caution. Interesting. Maybe hobgoblins have this ability to poison I didn't know about. Right. Oh, hello. Uh, crew the Lady Ogre and chop the Lady Over and David Janssen. Well, they look, they look like a fun group and we'll talk to them next time. I'm pretty happy with this episode. We've cleared out two maps. That's been great. We've got some stuff done and we can get back to our journal quests next time. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and a comment if you did, and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. My name is Agathis, I'm going offline, and you'll see me for more Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition with the rest of the whole series up to Baldur's Gate 3 in, a, I don't know, two years time, next time. <laughs>